Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another stupendous episode of Help for the Guildless. My name, of course, is Antoine, and I would be remiss in saying that this is not the podcast I wanted to do, but it's something I have to do. I was going to continue on to episode 3 of the series, talking about Seriously TV's unboxing videos. To me, that would be more fun than what I need to talk about now. And why do I need to talk about it? Well, because everyone is talking about it, because it's what's in the news at the present moment. Or I should say, what's not in the news at the present moment. So, first and foremost, after the election, we got a wonderful new word, and that, of course, is White Lash. Oh yes, White Lash was a wonderful word that came up with talking about the backlash of President Obama. But the person who said it, Van Jones, was talking about white America and how they were having a white lash against a black president for the last eight years. What he doesn't understand is most of those people voted in a black president over the last two elections. And what I'm talking about hypocrisy is the left has made it a point to try and get rid of any labeling. Uh, black male can't be called black male anymore. Black balling shouldn't be called black balling because of the term black in it. And someone stupid may think it has to do with race instead of what the term actually means. It's hypocrisy. Anything that has to do with race other than the white race, is seen as bad and, and, and ableist and, and denigrating. But throw white lash in front of something, and it's perfectly okay to put down an entire race of people. No, that's not racist at all. And this is just from CNN, you know, the Clinton News Network. The rest of the mainstream media, and I, I really feel bad talking about them again since I brought up in the whitewashing video and the masculinity video and mainstream media comes up a lot because of how biased they have become. You see, the mainstream media is not putting a bad spin on what's going on. They're actually praising these violent, angry rioters. I'm sorry, I meant to say peaceful protesters that are of course one burning effigies of Trump and two burning the flag, three spray painting and vandalizing things with fuck Trump, fuck whites, hate whitey, kill whitey. Yes, of course, they're completely, completely peaceful, 100% peaceful. Instead of calling out these asinine fuckers for what they are, a bunch of middle-aged and teenaged and younger generation fucksticks who are throwing a tamper tantrum against the democratic process of having an election. They are instead talking about numerous hate crimes, and I put hate in gigantic quotes that I have to use my whole arms for, and pushing those as truth. Two of them I'm going to be talking about right now. There was a woman, a Muslim woman, who accused a bunch of white men in MAGA hats of assaulting her, coming up ripping her hijab off her head, saying, go back to where you came from. This is Trump's America now. Stealing her wallet and leaving her scared. Well, there was an investigation, because this went viral. This was a huge thing, and the police investigated. And apparently they investigated her as well, and came out and said she made it up. And I'm not talking about saying we found no evidence of this. No, she went to court. She's actually been indicted on something. Now. Here's the real fucking injustice. She falsified a hate crime. Falsified a hate crime. If she would have pointed to some white man and said that Trump supporter there attacked me, the media would be in his ass and in his life enough to destroy him, demonize him before lunch. But instead, this fucker only got up 
to a $500 fine and 30 days in jail, which she'll commute into community service. She was charged with misdemeanor mischief. That is an abomination. Is the news reporting on that? No, I had to listen to fucking talk radio to hear that. And then the man who was a gay man who took a picture of himself covered in blood and dry bits of hair saying he got attacked by a Trump supporter who threw a bottle at his face and he went to the hospital immediately in Santa Monica. Well, guess what? Since it went viral, the Santa Monica Police Department actually did an investigation. Because it's a hate crime. And come to find out that there were no hospitals who admitted a person with an injury like that. Now, did this person go back on what he said and said, no, no, I'm, I just made it up. Ah, sorry. No, of course not. He doubled down. He took a picture of staples in his head. And then, See, it's real. It happened to me. Here's the problem. It was old. It was an old, old picture. How do people know this? Well, when you get staples in your head, they shave that part of your head. Because hair is disgusting. If it gets into the wound, guess what? It's going to get infected. And then, instead of again saying, look, I made it up, I will, I've made my bed, I will lie in it, this idiot triples down and says, no, take down your posts, you're attacking me, this is abusive. Come to find out, this asshat is a makeup artist. This jerk who is professing hate crimes is a special effects makeup artist. Who knows what that fucking picture was from? Maybe it was from fucking Halloween. No one knows. Has he said anything? Was he charged? Of course not. Because it wasn't in the news. What about the seven black people who attacked an older person for supporting and voting for Donald Trump? Not only did they videotape it, but they were on video saying, don't vote for Donald Trump. You're going to pay for everything of mine. And then, after beating him, they stole his car. Did the news report on that? Of course not. It went all over Facebook. This is stupid. There's actually a subreddit that is about things that happen, quote unquote. It has now become a fucking joke to try and come up with the most asinine story to try and get people to believe it happened. One of them being someone in Simi Valley being attacked by four men in a van while this black woman was pumping gas. Yes, because the stockbrokers driving around in their beamers and their fucking minivans take the time to go berate somebody in Simi Valley. The suburbanites there are definitely the ones that you need to blame. This is everything. This, this is proof of what we have been saying. The left are fucking hypocrites. They're throwing a goddamn temper tantrum against a vote. And just like Brexit, there's a new thing. You know, Brexit was like, oh, we didn't know this was actually going to go through. We weren't ready. We need a new election. Let's, let's, let's try it again. We'll take another vote. That's what they want. They want us to do another election. It's not going to happen. So, the West Coast has decided that they want to secede from the fucking Union. It's called CalExit. California wants to succeed, secede from the United States. This is Bullshit, you fucking liberal twits. You are rioting and protesting in cities that are part of states that didn't support Trump. And, you know, blocking intersections and going onto the freeway and stopping people from fucking getting home or going to work is going to bring them to your fucking cause. Oh, and then, of course, standing outside of Trump Tower, there was a man who has had his picture taken holding up a sign that says... Rape, uh, what's her name, millennia, malaria, whatever the fuck Trump, Donald Trump's wife's name is. Yes, that's, that's very progressive of you. You don't get what you want, so you call for the rape of Donald Trump's wife. Awesome. Oh, and then of course, we get blamed for slut shaming if we put a nude picture of someone up. In, uh, what Before the election happened, what did they do? They, do you want this to be your first lady of the, uh, uh, 
America, she took nude photos. Big fucking deal. Are you slut shaming the first lady? How dare you? I have been supporting Gamergate since the beginning. And what does Gamergate have to do with this? People don't listen. And in the aspect of not fucking listening, we get what we have. Everyone that Gamergate... Mo okay, not everyone. A good, fair share of the people that Gamergate have tried to bring up proved to be pieces of shit. They were bullies. They were harassers. They were abusers. But no one listened. So when it came out... Oh my god, who would have known it? Who saw this coming? We fucking did! Guess what? The conservatives fucking saw this coming. And what do we have now? We have people who are rioting out in front... I'm sorry. Protesting out in front of Trump Tower. Destroying things in Portland to the point where they have to have a curfew. This needs to stop. You have lost. And if you continue to do this, it is not going to do anything except lose the election for you next time. I didn't support Trump. I didn't support Hillary. I don't have a dog in this fight. What I do have is the ability to see reason. And it drives me up a fucking wall that we get blamed when all of this is happening to us. The mayor of L.A. came out publicly and said if he wasn't mayor, he would be out there with the rioters, destroying his city. But because he's mayor, he can't do it. The ideological left needs to take a step back. Not only do they need to take a step back, they need to look at themselves in the mirror and understand that this happened because of them. Normal people. And what I mean by normal, general populace, not the outliers, not the 0.01% that are transgendered, not the 15% that are bi or homosexual. I am talking about the general populace, the hard-working blue-collared people that voted for Donald Trump do not like being labeled and unfortunately that's exactly what you did when i say you i'm talking about the ideological left you labeled us all because we wouldn't vote for hillary you labeled us all sexists misogynistic racists and bigots you've thrown buzzword after buzzword after at us and it did not matter why? Because we don't like being labeled things we know we're not. You may not like Trump, but going around screaming, not my fucking president, and burning the flag is doing nothing but showing your own ignorance. Take a good, long, hard look in the mirror, because you caused this. And now, you have to live with it. If you like what I had to say, please hit like, share, and subscribe. It really does help this channel grow. If you didn't like what I have to say, please let me know in the comments. I'll gladly have a talk with you. You can follow me on Facebook, and you can follow my partner Cole on Twitch, Twitter, and Tumblr. All of the relevant links are down below. And this is all I really have to say. So, join me next time when I actually do continue on with my series talking about the unboxing of Seriously TV. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to be talking about, well, police brutality and their unboxing of it. So, my name is Antoine. This has been Help for the Guildless. Thank you for listening. And everyone, have a good and safe evening.